You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 radio show on 92kills.com. Hey, and we back. All right. So it's Catch 22 radio. We have Day, Day by. I'm going to get your name wrong. I'm not too long for that. Osa Day by Oma Caro. Yeah, we have uh, Anthony Duncan. Anthony Duncan in the building. We're dead to silence, y'all. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. How y'all boys doing today, man? We feel good. Feeling good, feeling great. How are you? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Now, let's tell the people what Dead the Silence is. First of all, let me just say, because this this is is just me being, like, on the outside looking in. Mm -hmm. These men came together to create something that was so needed in our in our culture for sure to, to talk about mental mental health to talk about situations that happen in our uh families and a lot of the times what happens is we be quiet about it we don't want to talk about it we get for embarrassed sure, about sure. it and it's not that mm-hmm. we can uplift ourselves because there's a whole moment right now that i feel like our culture is going through where we're like breaking traditions yep. and we're washing away a lot of transgressions that we had to go through right. and Honey. these men right here i was able to uh, perform at their show okay. and it was an honor it's called dead the silence and i'm gonna let them talk more about it but it was packed we we really had people in there that were so in tune that was ready to ask questions. Mm-hmm. They really listened to the panel. They were engaged and they were really about raising the vibration. That's dope. That's dope. So I need to know how did this all start? Where is, I need to know from the beginning how did this come about, man? Anthony, you up? I go. Well, I would just say um, I've been over Shell since I was like three. Like no. <laughs> so it was like family. She's on my sister. Beforehand, wow. my, I was a baby, baby. When right, you right, watching. right. Yeah, you, then you was born, <laughs> but consciously yeah. three. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my younger sister, she committed suicide at the age of 18, about seven years ago. And so that's for me, that's something that was very hard for me to even deal with, you know, but just being a black man, just being a man in general, you know, I was a person to glue with my family. So my silence was looked at as being strength. So everybody right. did, leaned on me. So I didn't really have a time to cope about, you know, what's going on. So uh, pretty much like last year, one of my friends had a mental health event, like a one act play about his own, like, you know, battle with suicide, depression and stuff. And, you know, during that time I was like, okay, let me speak out about what's been going on with myself, you know, with my sister, because I feel like that can impact somebody. So after doing that, I felt like really free. I felt like I, I was pretty much let go of like, you know, the trauma, the pain that I held on to, and I was able to turn now to heal, you know, so I saw how I was able to connect with the community, you know, connect with people that I was at the, uh, at the one night play, and people were just kind of, you know, I had battles of suicide, I had a sister, I had a friend, it was like, wow, okay. So I want to do something that brings awareness to these things, because in our community, it's very taboo, and it's very, like, it's not normalized to talk about anything we go through, you know, you've pretty much been taught from, personally for me, all right, just go to church, pray about it, and move forward, wow. you know. You don't want nobody in your business, you know. Keep it in the household, you know, and move forward. But, like, that stuff can come out in a negative way. So, you know, me and Dave, I had a conversation one day, and we're just like, you know, we need to dead the silence on these issues. And so, that was like, Dave, I was like, oh, that's the name of it. Like, we need to run, go with that. And so, from there, you know, we may be able to do different things. You know, I'm like, you know, Dave, I go ahead with what we've been able to do so far. For sure. Um, definitely... Ashley passing away, uh, Anthony's sister, Ashley passing away was something that hit both of us because we grew up in top teens. We known each other since we were like in middle school. Right. And like seeing that happen, like I was close with Anthony, but you, if you close with somebody, you close with their family. My like, that's how we do it in the with age. Ashley because they're the same age. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So we had different ages, but she's like a little sister to me. Right. So when she passed, I stayed in a room at Prairie View for three days. Didn't go anywhere. It hit me. But I didn't have any conversations with anybody around me. And anybody who knew me on campus still saw me the, after those three days and didn't know anything changed. Yeah. And there's so many times as a black man, uh, no matter what your pigmentation, what color you are, you have to deal with those things. So as people, we have to deal with those things. And we didn't have that conversation about how it affected me or how it affected him until we graduated and a year passed wow. in real life. So then we had the conversations about how we felt emotionally and debriefing from something that happened our junior year. So this is like four years that something just sat on us. Right. Then from there, we had these conversations and we was like, okay, this needs to be something that we share with everyone. Right. Right. Everybody needs to be able to communicate with unspoken issues. And we touched on a lot of different things. We uh, also... Um, did a little bit of work in New York where we sponsored some open mic nights. Yeah. Um, so, because poets, artists, 
know how to express themselves. That's true. And they're a little bit better at being vulnerable with something tough, but in an artistic way. Right. So that was our first way in. Yeah. And we was like, okay, we utilized poets. Then we moved on to what we did where you performed, Rochelle. Amazing performance. Thank you. Lord. Like, yeah, amazing woman. Her, her support is great, but we also have a team of people who work with us. Yeah. Different people from different places. Philadelphia. Uh, we also have New Jersey. We also have Detroit. People from all over and Guyana. Yeah. <laughs> and these people come together to create the events that we do these people come together to create a safe space because ultimately our purpose is to create safe space to have these conversations right. about every and anything right. whether that's domestic violence whether that's uh sexual abuse whether that's mental health whether that's perfectionism right. things that you pass on a day-to-day job right just your fatigue from stressing that Everybody, you all have a friend that's very shiny and very rosy and might look like the most amazing person. And that's what Ashley was. That's what we are, everybody in this room. And that's what the people listening are as well. So for them to have an opportunity to to speak their mind is our goal, our purpose, and that's it. So is there there a platform that people can go to to talk to you guys? Uh, so we have an Instagram uh, called Dead to Silence. You know, from there we have different affirmations. You know, we have different topics we talk about. You know, you know, after the event we saw that a lot of people had a lot of questions. And of course, when you go to any panels, you know, you can't get to everybody's questions. Right. So we're going to open that up to, you know, to the audience, to, to you know, our fan base uh, and followers, you know, to ask any questions they want. Um, and we also pretty much have these t-shirts, you know, that we have on Dead to Silence. It's pretty much just a walking uh, representation, you know, to and always. And they bought some for you all? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We got y'all sponsored. Everybody gets a shirt. Yeah. Awesome. And we also have the uh, website, deadtosilence.com. Once again, that's deadtosilence.com. One word, deadtosilence.com. And the Instagram is at deadtosilence, one word. Yeah. If you cannot spell. I got you. I I'm going to let Anthony read it because I'm getting nervous just being <laughs> But Sorry. that's uh, D E A D T H E S I L E N C E. Yeah. If you yeah. watch on video, you'll see me read that. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, y'all, uh, please follow us. Please support the movement. And not just for you, but for that person that's smiling that might need a resource. We want to provide resources, we want to provide awareness, and we want to provide education. Yeah. Yeah. Share the do y'all provide like counselors for people to talk to, or is it something that y'all deal with while y'all are talking to the people and answering these questions? Um, so we definitely we, we direct people to different resources. They so, had counselors yeah. on the panel. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. Different counselors that people can literally just reach out to, that's have dope. access to. Yeah. So that's what we want to continue to do. Just you know, pretty much be like a, a vessel to other people. Like people have been asking me, like where can I get a therapist from? You know, d- d- from our event, we're like, well, we have uh, we had a clinical psychologist there, a psychiatrist. We had counselors there there as well. So it's like. We want to give the avenue and say, hey, this is an opportunity for us because a lot of people of color, you know, don't think therapy or is, is needed or True. if it's even affordable. And I think our panel definitely shows that, hey, it is affordable and it's there. It's access. So I want to say my question is one of advice, right? If I knew somebody or say my, me personally, anybody in my family, what is the first step in getting that person to get or believe that they need to get help? How uh, do I say? I think I'll- it just deals with like self-love. You know, pretty much realizing in yourself that you, you have something you have to work on, you know, and deal with. Pretty much analyzing if you're charming your pain and realize, okay, this is my this is where it's at. Now I need to learn how to replace that that place of hurt with love. And that's pretty much you more self aware. I would say as well, just to piggyback off my brother, is if you have an issue, first understand that you're loved. If you don't hear from anybody else, hear from me, you are loved. Next what you want to do is understand what's going on, and that is dead into silence, making sure that you are speaking through what you're feeling. Wow. Sometimes we don't understand our feelings. Right. Sometimes we think we're mad, but we're really sad. Mm. Sometimes we mm. think we're happy, but we're really just working off of pleasures. Mm. We need to definitely focus in on just speaking and understanding within our community. That can be our motion. So speaking dead into silence is sometimes the first step and that might be speaking to yourself that might be speaking to a counselor that might be speaking to your family so that's kind of the approach but i also want to say this speak through faith faith is our first backbone god didn't discriminate we not discriminating understand that there's opportunities everywhere and god is our channel we are weak he is strong right that's right all right cool do you guys have anything coming up any events uh, we do not have any events coming up in the Houston area. Uh, we do plan on coming back next year and doing something as well. Um, as y'all 
probably not know this month is Minority Mental Health Month, so we wanted to pretty much highlight that, you know, because in our community, you know, it just kind of highlights what we go through, you know, pretty much promoting people to go to th therapy, you know, take care of your mental health, and, you know, minority, Asian, Indian, Hispanic, you know, well, black. I'll be the first to say, as a black man, right. a minority, my father has never said to me, hey, you need to get mental health and things of that nature. Right. So it's not in our family. It's not in my realm to know about mental health. Right. Sure. And outside of vessels as such as my family, outside of that, I found that you do need to go ahead and take care of it, and I've tried to take care of it then. That's the reason I asked for that advice, because when right. you have people in your family that don't even know about these things, right. that don't go this route, you kind of want to get them into it, but it's like trying to get somebody into veganism that's exactly. been eating bacon for every meal of the entire life. You know what I'm saying? You got to teach them the language. Come to this side. Come to this side. I can get you some therapy. We're going to go vegan. We're going to stop trapping, okay? Hey, I look at Anthony's vegan, too. He's my brother. I eat meat. I'm an African. Anthony's on the side. Hey, bro, hey. teach them the language. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the definitions aren't understood. Okay. Some people just think mental health means you're wrong or something's wrong with you. Right. Hey, just like you go to a doctor, you might need to see a counselor or a therapist. One right. of our panelists, Jerome Bailey, said, try going a week without using the restroom. The same way that you have build up in your body, you can have build up in your mind. Wow. That's Shout right. out to Jerome right. Bailey, man. Yeah. That's, that's right. Real. Yeah. yeah, that's real. That's real. Well, well, if there's any way that we can help, you know, get involved with this because I think this is really dope. It's right. something that's needing the community. Please reach out and let us know. We will. You already Catch 22 got the juice. Yeah. <laughs> well, one yeah. last yeah. thing that we do have coming up. Um, we, we shot a documentary last year, and it's pretty much six people six individuals, African-American millennials coming together and just talking about like their different uh, issues and how they work through it. You know, perfection, you know, seeking approval for people, you know, going through like uh, sexuality, you know, uh, depression, adversity, you know, different like that. So pretty much like, take a look out on that. Uh, that's going to be some, sometime soon in this fall. Okay, how can they find it? They should go on Netflix. They at, should. Oh, Netflix, <laughs> Netflix needs to be on that yeah. movie. At, yeah. at DeadToSilence.com oh, or yeah. at uh, Dead to Silence on Instagram. Okay. You're definitely going to find everything there. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely check that out, man. For sure. All right, thank so that was Dead to Silence, Osa, David, and Anthony. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Blessing our mentals with that. Michelle, that was dope. Hey. Hey, man, you know I bring some positivity on Michelle. I love it. I, love it. I don't I love come it. empty in. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go to another quick mix with DJ Anthrax. When we come back, we got another special guest in the building. It's Catch 22 Radio. Let's get it. Hey. You're, you're now rocking with the voice of the South. Catch 22 yeah. Radio Show on 92kills.com. Don't know who's swimming naked till the tide come in. Where y'all that? I'm Osa Deva, it's Anthony, and we're Dead to Silence, and we're rocking with Catch-22 Radio. 